All right, folks, we're back. And we are going to attempt the optional werewolf quest. Um, as you can see, we are in the wooded area west of Barovia. And up here is a cave in the northwest corner. Where the quest more or less begins. Enter the cave. You don't necessarily need to do this in the order, but I wanted to go through some dialogue. And there is the were werewolf. Get away! By all the gods, leave this place! If you alone would have us leave, you are not evil. Yet you may not be alone. Do other dangers lurk here unseen? You are wasting time! Flee! Flee before my mind succumbs to arrogant wolfish hunger! And beware! I am not the only soul that's afflicted. Our progenitor roams these woods, a beast who lives in the unholy joy of the cruelty he causes. He's a large albino. Beware that sight and run without looking back. So we're looking for our large albino werewolf. In our travels, we have learned of lycanthropy. The cure is dangerous, but we are willing to attempt it. Oh, by the spirit of my father, and my mother's enduring love. Yes, anything. I swear to you my undying gratitude. All that I can, all that I have to give will be yours. Go then, prepare what you must. Retreat from the terrible rage that overcomes my heart. We must destroy the heart of this infection, the progenitor. Three spells must then be cast upon you. May we find you here? He who is the root of this evil is an albino. A great and arrogant beast to lurks these woods. Ah, my will fails me. My heart is sheathed, held fast by a passion to rend flesh and work my jaws in snapping pound. The pain is great. But yes, I shall do as I can. Alright, just shut up. We'll be right back. So, you want to wait until night? And normally the great albino werewolf leader is in the south. I'm not sure if it's dark enough yet. And you can't really, that I know of, control sleep in this game, but I will show you a trick that I've learned if he's not already down there. Um, just making sure I save correctly. There should be tons of other werewolf. not be dark enough yet. Run into the mist and get poisoned. I would say poisoned, but damaged. And then you can rest. Oh, that didn't work out. Try that again. Alrighty. Well, you know what? I, I just... <laughs> As funny as this is, I just realized I've already killed the white albino werewolf in a much earlier episode. Um, when I first visited here and picked up the uh, mage, Rosati Zadi Zad, whatever his name is. So I think all we have to do at this point is cast the three scrolls. Now I did go back and uh, find out that all three scrolls are in the church. You do need to cast them in a particular order. First you want to cast Atonement. Um, after atonement, you want to use the spell of cure disease. Whoops. Get away! Okay, my bad. Cure disease, and last but not least, remove curse. And the spell is lifted. Oh, God! Pure! Untainted! Innocent blood fills my veins. At last, I am free. My raging night of the soul is ended. We are glad for you and happy to have been of help. Can you find your way home? But I have no home, no worldly possessions, no longer. They are yours. Here, this key I give you opens the door to a house in the village of Barovia. The house and everything within it are yours. To do this is the smallest reward any man might confer for the salvation of his mortal life. I cannot return. Many of my victims' belongings are there. Nice. Well, 
What will you do with your life now that you're healed? I remember my victims. I can still see the startled, glazed look in their eyes when my weight and strength pinned them beyond hope of escape. When my growls were close upon them and the hot breath of animal fury was against their throats. Animal fury? Now, hot breath? though I be weak and mortal, I must make amends. I must help those families I have cruelly torn. Alright, baby. Get to it. I'll take this red key. And if you remember, there was a red key slot in town. Which we will need to use that on. So, the short but sweet optional quest of the werewolf is complete. And I will scurry on back to town. Um, another quick note. Of course, those wondering what I took the rocks out. I threw them in the Burgomaster's house in case I needed them. But I do not think you use pressure plate rock deals in this game. That's more of an eye of the beholder deal. Um, Dungeon Master, games like those. Don't remember any kind of pressure plate puzzles being in this one. So I tossed the rocks and uh, now I got about 200 pounds of chest in there. So now we just gotta find that, uh, that red key door. I believe I marked it. That's it. Yeah, you probably didn't want to do that. Let me educate you in the ways of death. It's not this one. No, this is the... Ah, this isn't it. That's a different dungeon. Completely different. I could have swore I put a red key. I think what happened was... I reloaded and I didn't have it marked. Alright, well I'll mark it, find the correct house, and show you where it is in just one second. We'll wrap this up in this uh, video here. Alright. Let's go northeast. <laughs> Shut up! I punch so many holes through you. So I'm gonna try to finish this uh, Ravenloft Let's Play up, just so you guys know. I'm gonna focus my attention on this and try to dish out as many videos as I can until we destroy Strahd. Um, after that, I really don't know. I can't say for sure where I'm going to go. I'd, I'd love to get right into Stone Prophet. Here's the keyhole. Um, but I've had many requests for Ultima Underworld and Eye of the Beholder. I might take a break from this engine. I would really love to do Eye of the Beholder, and I'd also really love to do Ultima Underworld. So I think I'm going to uh, probably, I don't know. Shit. I might do Eye of Beholder 1 and Ultima Underworld 1 at the same time, and I might just decide to do one at a time. Either way, it'll be one of the two. Um, any suggestions? Any, uh, if you guys want to lead me toward one way, uh, what do you think? Eye of the Beholder or Ultima Underworld 1? Both, of course, have been done, but obviously you guys want to see me do it. Right. For a sec there, I thought I threw the key away like I like to do. Whoa! Hallelujah! 
adamantite plate helm. Not sure that makes any difference. We are going to need to detect magic. And we're just going to pick up everything quickly. Alright, so quickly before we end the video, we got a Ring of Regeneration, some Gauntlets of Dexterity, which I'll put on the Dwarf, give him a negative 7, he's the only one that can use it, some Healing Potions, and that's about it. See you next video.